So my brand new Azure Kinect development kit arrived today from the United States. I ordered it in February 2019 and it was delivered uh, on the first week of July and then it was shipped to the Netherlands. Um, still unopened as you can see. Here's the back side. Let's check what's inside. This. Card. This is the actual device with protective foil on it. And we have the USB cable. USB A to USB C. It's a power brick for the US. Some Cup. I don't know what it's for, but we'll soon find out. Probably for a tripod or a small tool. So apparently, there's something that can be unscrewed. And there's another cable. And this one seems to be for power. Okay. A short, short menu or description. Let's see if anything more inside. Don't feel like that. Okay. So there's a short overview of the specs or the, the parts of the uh, Kinect. Comes into focus. The tool description. Well, okay, we'll soon find out. Um, let's take a look at the connections. So that's the USB input. Actually, hook it up. Like this. And there's the power. Ah. And these two screws can be unscrewed with this wrench. And they are hiding a little magic. Because behind these screws are the simple audio connectors that can be used to sync up multiple Kinects. So it's now possible to synchronize the capture of each Kinect and then uh, get a better, smoother result for the 3D capture because they're all taken at the same time, approximately, approximately the same time. Let's see. Doesn't look like much. It's a little bit hard to see. Hmm. Okay. Let's unplug these. Let's see what happens. Screw the other one. Ah. Come off. Ah, that's that's why. 
So let's take a look at the back in a little bit more detail. There's the sync out, 5 volts, the USB and the sync in. And you can uh, chain uh, multiple Kinex by linking the sync out to the sync in of the next one. And then create a JZ chain of uh, Kinex. Bit on the side, there's some other mounting screws on the top. The bottom with the standard quarter inch screw. And here is this this from the front. Let's peel off the protective foil. So the color camera. Oh, Call camera is over here, then the depth sensor is over here, and there are some emitters uh, hidden behind this glass, IR emitters. And for comparison, I have a Kinect 1, the, the second generation of Kinect, right here. And this, you can see the difference in size. And I also have a RealSense D435 over here. That's a little bit smaller, but it's all about the performance of the sensors. And the uh, Kinect will be the RealSense stereo camera uh, in depth quality by far. Okay, let's see what happens if we hook this up. shows up under the universal bus devices, a 4K camera, 4K camera and a Kinect Tab camera and it also shows up as a regular 4K camera on the cameras. So I installed the Azure Kinect Sensor SDK and that comes with a Azure Kinect Viewer. This is, that is this application. You can open it. And you can see there's a lot to configure. Um, just leave it at the default settings and I can start the sensor. And we have an image. So the, this is the infrared image, the color image and the depth in image. And we can actually go to the 3D version of the depth image. There's no color on there. As you can see, it's a very clean image. This one is the narrow field of view. I can also switch to the wide field of view. I'm picking the bint version because it uh, still runs at uh, 30 hertz. I'll enable the frame rate info. As you can see, this goes to 30 fps. And here's the wide field of view which is actually very wide we can also go to the 3d version of that looks all very nice next we'll look up the um, body tracking Here's the body tracker viewing viewer. As you can see, it, it checks my body just nicely, even when sitting down, standing up. You can even rotate, it still recognizes me.
Oh, and by the way, this uh, cup is simply for placing a Kinect on top of it. It will be slightly pointing upwards. It fits in there. It's not, not screwed, so it's just uh, sitting on there. Um, that's a really easy solution to place it on a uh, plane. But it's far better to have a tripod and fix it on there. So you can point in all kinds of di different directions.